I bet you never thought that I'd be wearing just a sweatshirt and a cap with no toque, no gloves. I could almost get my shorts out and t-shirt. That's how warm it is today. It's unbelievably seasonably warm, but I like it. <laughs> I love it. Look, the claw crew's waiting for me. <laughs> I hear you, Tango. I hear you. Where's Maggie? There she is. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Chunk. <laughs> Way to be, buddy. You guys are all gonna follow that same path where there's just a little bit of ice left. Thank you, you gotta stretch. <laughs> you guys are funny. Good girl, Bubbles. Come here. What are you doing? I'm trying to pet bubbles. I'm trying to pet bubbles. Tango's doing a really thorough job there of inspecting the wood pile <laughs> for mice. Hey buddy, how are ya? You a good boy? You a good boy, Dexter? We're gonna do two things today. Check in on some of the chickens, on how they were healing, you know, like big red, and there's a couple of hens that weren't doing so well. We're gonna give them a quick check in, and then we're gonna go hang out with the piglets for a little bit and see if we can socialize them <laughs> somewhat. I got a little jar of peanut butter here, and I got some marshmallows to see if we can get them to come over to me while I sit there. Fuzzy, how'd you get up there, bud? Did you jump up there? I'm impressed. <laughs> Fuzzy. Hello, chickens. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I hear you, Red. I hear you, buddy. You guys want some food? Do you want in here, Dexter? I heard you crying. Come on, Dexter. Come on, buddy. There you go. There you go, bud. How are ya? You're getting wet. It's all melting. Okay, you hunt the mice for me, okay? Maggie, you coming in? Maggie! Maggie, come on in. Good girl. <laughs> I'll have you okay, girl? You stay there, okay? I'm keeping the door closed there because Big Red's been kind of living out in this area while he's healing, and I don't want the dogs in here eating all the chicken poop. <laughs> but the cats can help hunt the mice in here because there's some kind of mice or rat or something in here. Okay, now we're cooking. Three eggs. Three eggs to start. You guys lay me any eggs? Oh, they laid me two. Two eggs. Oh, yeah, Michael Jackson. Okay, two more eggs from the late Sussex.
look right there, there's a big hole. You see that hole there? And over there, there's a big hole they've been digging. So there's definitely something living in here. Look, there's the exit hole right there. And now I got Dexter and Maggie in here. So hopefully they'll do some hunting for me. How about the barred rock? Any eggs? Ooh, they laid one egg in the nesting box and it's a big egg. This is nice. But I see they also have two eggs down there. Hey guys, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Dexter, don't you fool around with those chickens, okay? They're gonna peck ya. Okay, one, two more eggs. Big eggs too. These barred rocks lay a big size egg. It's nice. Okay, that's a good amount of eggs today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. Look at Big Red's tail right there. It's looking pretty good. my buddy Big Red everybody. You've probably met him before if you've been watching the channel a lot. I raised him from a chick and I'd like to think that he'd never hurt me. Some roosters can be pretty aggressive but he's docile you know and he really watches out for his hens and whatnot but he was getting picked on by one or more of the hens and he was starting to lose a lot of his tail feathers so I separated him outside of his coop here and I just wanted to show you his tail. You see how there's all these little white coverings of the tail? It's almost like it's a sheath. Basically, it's got this long sheath and then you can see right there, there's a little piece of the feather coming out. And these, this sheathing here, that's kind of what keeps it rigid. It's like it'll be a big long thing and it allows it to stay upright because of these little sheathings. He's coming in real nice. Look at him. This was bald and bloody and everything. Look at Dexter watching Big Red. <laughs> so funny. Maggie's just biding her time, waiting for a rodent to show his face. You guys want some food? There you go. All these chickens are starting to look really good. Ooh, that one's got a bit on her tail there. You see that one chicken there? It's a bit bald. This one here, you can see all the feathers are growing back. You see how it's all white? That's the feathers growing back in. But really, all the rest of them look good. Look at that beautiful girl. It's beautiful. Lots of feathers. That one there that's wearing the hen saddle, she's worn that for like a couple of years. I just never took it off. Hey, you stay in there, okay, girly? Come on, guys. Here you go. Dexter's just watching Big Red like a hawk. Once in a while, Big Red will look up at him, too. <laughs> Here, guys. This is the Rhode Island hen that lives in with Elvis. We did have a couple of the younger cockerel roosters living in with them. I have since removed them because they were getting too rough with this girl. This girl was in extremely bad shape. And she was very quiet. And I honestly think if I would have left the roosters in there any longer, she probably would have passed away. She was just so stressed out. She wasn't eating and stuff. If you look closely, you can see the little white specks there on the, the feathers. These are the new feathers coming in. If you guys who follow the channel remember what she looked like, she was almost bald on top. And now look at her. She's really looking a heck of a lot better. And she's active, you know, she's jumping up and down from the roosts. She's running around the coop. She's going outside, getting food. And she wasn't doing that for a while. Now, she hasn't laid an egg for a while, which is okay. I'm giving her a break because she was really stressed out. And that's 
it's winter too, right? So she's already laying less. But uh, I think Elvis is leaving her alone and um, just letting her kind of recover. And she's doing really great. We still have these three roosters inside this separate coop. And these are Big Red sons. But I don't think we're going to be keeping these guys. Because Big Red's Big Red. He's our guy. He's like three years old now, but he's still okay. And I don't really want to replace him with his sons because then he'll be mating with his daughters and those will be siblings. That's not really great for genetics. I think when Elvis, MJ, and Big Red pass on, <laughs> whenever that day comes, or when they can't do their job anymore, they are gonna be replaced with new genetics, I think. I think that's the best. You guys are ready to get out of here, eh? Okay. Let's go. I know you want out. <laughs> wonder if Maggie and Dexter went around the back. Because <laughs> I saw them heading down that way. But they know, they remember from the other day, there's something hiding in there. Maggie, I knew you were in here. I knew it. Where's Dexter? <laughs> oh no, you're leaving? Maggie, I didn't see you catch anything yet. You're not supposed to punch out yet. Hi, pigs. How you guys doing? How's the baby hippo down there? <laughs> Billy, you want some water? I know, that's what you want, eh? I gotta fix my little bed here. This is where I sit. Because I don't want to get poop all over my pants. my finger. <laughs> Hi, Billy. I didn't do nothing. I'm just sitting here. Okay, they licked the whole peanut butter off, so that's good. That's a good sign. It's a slow progress, but I mean, I'm sitting in here and it takes them a while to come over. Honestly, I'll have hours and hours of footage. <laughs> But they've been licking the peanut butter off my finger. It doesn't really hurt. They're nibbling on it, but it doesn't hurt or nothing because they don't have a strong enough bite yet. But now they're coming right up to me. That's a good sign. Here. That guy's scratching down there. He's making too much noise.
happened to my boots? <laughs> You're scratching on my boots?